What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of July 9th, 2022. And I know I've been out for several weeks now. Truth is, I'm traveling a lot with work and I haven't been home much lately. Good news is I'm back this week. Bad news is that it's a bit of a short week since the 4th of July holiday here in the United States. So we'll just go over the new stuff quickly rather than recap everything that happened the past few weeks while it was gone. Starting off with this super short recap, fans of the hit anime series My Hero Academia might be excited to learn that this past week, Bandai Namco announced My Hero Ultra Rumble, an upcoming free-to-play 24-player battle royale. The game is planning to release on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC via Steam. And big news already, closed beta testing for PlayStation 4 begins on August 18th. Sign up and more info are available at the link in the description below. Next up in the news, Gwent has just launched its first single-player expansion, titled Rogue Mage. The standalone expansion is available on PC, macOS, Android, and iOS. Set hundreds of years before the time of the Witchers, Rogue Mage puts players in the role of Alzur and his companion Lily as they seek to create a living weapon to defeat the threat of endless monsters brought to the world. The expansion offers deck building and strategy elements along with elements of roguelikes with hundreds of cards, upgrades, achievements, and even online leaderboards. There's even custom modifiers to let you change the game's difficulty for even greater challenges. It's a really neat idea and doesn't even require you to have or play Gwent itself, which is also an interesting way to reach fans of the series without requiring an investment into an online game. Next week on July 13th, Genshin Impact will deliver its next major update, version 2.8, titled Summer Fantasia. The update will feature the return of the Golden Apple Archipelago with new additions and surprises for players to discover. Players will be able to get a free outfit for Fischl or purchase a Fatui-inspired outfit for Diluc. Klee will make a return for the first banner of the update, while the second will introduce a new playable four-star character, Shika Noing Heizao, which will be the game's first melee catalyst user. Looks kind of like a monk. Lots of neat things to experience as summer rolls on. Blood Hunt has announced its upcoming summer update, set to launch on July 14th, and it's looking awesome. First off is an anticipated game mode, an 8v8 team deathmatch will go into live beta with five locations. There's new map locations including the Ventru area, which will feature new quests and a nightclub to hang out at. A knife and crowbar have been added as melee weapons too. Alongside this, there's a $6 summer pass that grants over 100 new items, a lot of bug fixes and performance improvements, and a shift away from the seasonal approach of most Battle Royale games to offering smaller but more regular updates consistently. Nice to see a Battle Royale going this direction. And finally, let's check in at the Epic Game Store where there's two games to claim for free this week. The first is Ancient Enemy, a turn-based RPG that uses a card battle system to handle combat and tell a story of a world's soul in peril and a fight against darkness. It has a really nice art style and kind of reminds me of old flashcard battle RPGs, so worth checking that out. Next up is Killing Floor 2, a massive horde-based first-person shooter where you'll go head-to-head -head with murderous clones. This one features both 6-player co-op and 12-player versus modes too, so make sure you and your buddies all grab a copy. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.